heard you saw the new squad trailer. Do you want to make one? Well, I'm here to tell you, no, you can't. You can't, you can't make it that good. But you can get close enough, and I'm going to try to teach you. So, this is part one. Uh, it's going to be very simple. Just the beginning, recording. But after that, I believe that I could do even more. Hopefully it doesn't take me three years again. Anyways, on to the recording. Whoop! Okay, so let's get started. Uh, when you open the editor, of course, you won't have the map already loaded. I preloaded that. I promise you I didn't crash multiple times, and this is not my fifth attempt at trying to record this. So, the very first thing is editor setup. You will need a couple of windows. So under window, you need a sequence recorder. Dock it in whatever you want. I prefer it on the right. Then you need the sequencer, duh. And you will need world settings. That are, is usually hidden, but just in case, let's have it there. So, after that is done, uh, we will create a new folder for ourselves. I'm going to call this one underscore tutorial. I name it one in front just because it's on the top of the list, easier to find. And in here, we're going to have all our files, animations, and whatever. So, next step, uh, sequence recorder. Let's just, we need to enter a sequence name. So, I'm going to call this uh, toot character one and guide it to be in our folder that we just created. After that is done, everything here is fine. Uh, I do have create new level sequence enabled and uh, record nearby spawn stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how useful that is, but this is the way I prefer to work and well, sue me. <laughs> Anyways, carrying on. Uh, next one, edit, uh, editor preferences. Here, we need to set a couple of things. So, this will be not here for you. It's going to look like this. So, under editor preferences, under play squad, you will see these options. Uh, pawn class override is your character. So, so, it really doesn't matter as long as you remember how it's called. So, I'm just grabbing an engineer because... Uh, it's just easiest for me to find. It really doesn't matter which one you choose from the soldiers. Rifleman, medic, whatever. It takes a while to load, so don't get scared. Nothing crashed yet. There we go. That one's loaded. Uh, now we need to choose the weapon. The weapon is very important because uh, all the animations, how the soldier holds his hands and everything, is determined by this. So you need to figure out which weapon you want before you start recording. So for this example, I'm just going to use a L L85, just a normal British rifle, because why not? And yes, so these two are set up. The last thing we need to do here is under gameplay, uh, you will have direct spawn disabled. Enable that and enable ignore startup time. These two options will just make our life easier. It's going to spawn us where our camera is, not in the beginning of the game. It will not have two minutes of warm-up or anything like that. So this is done. We can close, close this out. Remember to bloody save. That's the lesson I learned. Okay, on to step two. So now, obvious things obvious, we need to figure out which, which map we want to film on. So I chose Narva because I had it loaded and it just saves time. So what I loaded was specifically from gameplay layers, because gameplay logic is required to be able to run around and record yourself. So choose your map, whatever you want, and under gameplay layers folder, there's going to be multiple layers, and just choose one and load that. So I chose Narva Skirmish 1. Once the map loads, everything's fine. Uh, we're on to the fun part. Choose a position on the map, wherever you want. I'll just choose somewhere here, because it really doesn't matter for this example. Just plunk myself here. And before clicking play or anything, make sure that under play settings, you have selected viewport as your main thing and current camera location. These two are kind of required. So after that, we just press play. So, if everything went according to plan and you completed smashing your keyboard into the wall because it took 20 minutes to load, you should be able to see this. If you're seeing this, you just press continue, wait for the little animation, 
and I will create a squad because being the squad leader will uh, allow me to use hand signals, which I can just plonk. So uh, recording in first person does not work because it will capture first person animations. We do not want that. We want third person animations. So in order to toggle that camera, you press O on your keyboard, O key, and then you press I a couple of times to zoom out. Now you have your character, everything's fine. He doesn't have a gun though. To fix that, you just swap to another gun and press number one again and he will take out the gun that we designated before. After that, you might see that he's turning but we can't see where he's looking. That's a problem. So how to fix that? You just look kind of straight away from yourself and press O again. That will lock the camera to his back and you will be able to see. So recording. Let's start recording. Uh, Shift F1 to release your mouse without stopping the simulation. And then under here, we have des designated ourselves as engineer. So find that, add it to the recording, name it however you want. So this is going to be my main bro 666, because why not? The only thing we need to do now is just press record, wait for the timer to run out. Then do our action, for instance now, run, run, sprint, 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 crouch, shoot, shoot, and let's say a hand signal. Once we're done, shift F1 again to release the mouse, click stop all. This will save the recording, and you can stop the game as well. Once this is done, ignore the errors, <laughs> probably I probably broke something. Uh, in your tutorial folder, or whatever you named it, uh, you'll see two new folders. One captured the animations. That is, well, six animations, but we only care about the first one. I'll touch that later. And in the other one is the important part. We have to sequence where the transform data captured by the recorder is stored. So at the moment, we can clear the recorder, just removal. Nobody cares. Remember to save. And after the saving is complete, we can, uh, we need to actually create a new sequence in the level that is going to be our master sequence where we're going to have all our main stuff there. So I'm going to call this Narva Tutorial Master. Let's call it like that. Save it there. Opens in sequencer. And we do need to open the tut01. This is the same as you named it here. So open that. It has the character data in here. And under character data, our main bro 666, in the very, very bottom, there's the transform. These keys are very important to us. So what do we do? We just copy this, go back, find our master, load that up. And here, we need to drag an empty actor into the scene. This will represent the position of our character in, in our sequence. So let's call it something normal like main, character, drag it into our sequence right here, and just paste the transform. Now the data that was recorded is on that little ball, and if I toggle it, you can see if I scrub, the ball will move exactly where you moved while acting. Let's go like that. The next step is actually attaching the character and giving him the animations. Animations are here. Well, the easiest way how I do it is I copy the very first one, just some control C on the keyboard, go to my main folder and paste it here and name it uh, something appropriate like main bro anim animation, like to just recognize. After that is done, once again, remember to save. Crash is way too much. And we can proceed. So under Art, Soldier 2, uh, we can choose whatever we want. For this one, even though we recorded with the US character, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to find one we like visually. So let's just say, I don't know, a pilot. Why not? Drag it in the scene, parent it to the main character, the actor that we placed before, which has the data. And once it's parented, you'll see that he will kind of slide similar to the thing. 
we still haven't fixed the location. So under the details, while the mesh is selected, you reset location and reset rotation. Then you can see them floating. Problem. Easy solution is uh, rotation is usually 90 and location is minus 90. Don't ask why this is a thing, it's a thing. So now uh, we need to apply the animation to the character. We grab it from the world outliner, we drag it into our master sequence, we can name it however we want, main, bro, whatever, and then under animation we just need to, f well actually wait, sorry, you need to set this to be exactly on the very first uh, transform keyframe. If you apply the animation later, it will desync and you will just run into problems. So make sure it's on zero at the moment and apply the animation. And it was something, I don't remember what I called it. Yeah, main bro name. So just apply that. Look here and yeah, the guy is actually doing what I was doing. So he's actually repeating everything, including the hand signal. Perfect. He doesn't have a gun. Next step. Uh, recording guns. Uh, this is a funny thing. At the moment while I'm recording this tutorial, recording guns breaks my editor. So I don't really want to delay the tutorial until I find the issue. So I'm just going to skip recording gun animations and I'm just going to attach a gun without anything. So under art items, there is the L, what was it? Jeez, L85. Let's just grab that. Let's, yeah, let's do normal, not iron sided. So grab it, drag it out, parent it to the uh, mesh, to the character mesh, not the actor. And here it will ask you where do you want to parent? You want to parent it to weapon one socket. Weapon one, reset, reset, and there you go. The guy is holding his gun properly. Everything is working as. Well, technically it should. If you didn't accidentally break anything so far, and we're getting progress at the moment, you can just just press play again. It should load way faster because it was just preloaded. And it will spawn in right next to your previous guy. So technically now, if I go back, I press O, I, 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 and then just parent the camera to the back. Uh, technically, we can scrub our sequence and see our ghost, uh, the previous recording. So with this in mind, we can add a new layer, add another recording. So I'm going to position myself behind this guy, shift F1 to unlock it, unlock the mouse, recorder, find my engineer again, put it into recording again, and just click record. Once that's done, stop all. Once again, we have the same amount of files. We need to repeat the process again. If you want to skip that, you can skip that. Scroll a little bit forward in the tutorial, but I'm going to do it live anyways. So stopping the thing. And once again, so we have the main sequence, master sequence as I call it. And in there, we drag in another empty actor. We call him, oops, caps lock. We call him Buddy Bro, because why not? We grab the Buddy Bro, put it in here. That will be our second character. Same as the previous ones, in the tutorials folder you defined, in Tuto 1, there's a second sequence. That is the data of your second character. Uh, I could have just uh, named the sequence name different, but I just didn't think. So, sorry about that. But he opened that one. Under characters, there's this guy. You scroll down, find the transform, right click, copy, go back, open the main se sequence, paste it on the buddy bro. Now it has data as well. Then uh, let's figure out what character we want him to be. So art, soldiers, uh, let's do an insurgent because why the hell not? Like they're, they're team working with the British. 
So name that so we can recognize bro buddy. Parent it to buddy bro. Wow, this is confusing. I I promise this was an accident. This is just confusing for no reason. So I parent that. Make sure the rotation and uh, position is set as minus 90, 90. Then we go back into our tutorials, animations. Uh, we figure out the new animations, which is should be this one. Huh? I, com I completely mixed them up. I'm sorry. Let me quickly check. Do you do the hand signal? No, you don't. Okay, so this one. Sorry. Should have uh, should have marked it somehow. Uh, changing the name. Whoops. Okay, so copy that. Back in here. Buddy, bro, anim. Save it. Hope the engine doesn't crash. It didn't. Save all, just in case. And proceed assembling him again. So we drag his mesh, the second guy's mesh, into the sequence. We, on zero frame, we apply the new animation, which was buddy something, buddy bro. Boom. And now, both of them are ghosts of what I just did. I'm doing exactly the same as I did. Of course, he needs a weapon, but I'm not going to go into that. And I'm not going to go into details about lighting or uh, attachments on the guns or particles just yet in this first part. Technically, at the moment, uh, I have shown you everything how to record characters. After that, you would just uh, go to sequencer, place a camera, uh, pilot the camera in cool ways, position it somewhere, maybe, maybe zoom in, you know, you know the drill. The point is, this one is for a later date. So, congratulations, first recording done. Hope you enjoyed it. Gonna make more, I promise. Not gonna take three years. Maybe. Okay.